So describe the sequence of transformations that took place in the graph. Would it be a rigid motion? Why or why not? So these have primes on them. So it starts out in the green, then it goes to the red, then it goes to the blue. All right. So I want to say what happened. Well, the green to the red. All right. How did it get there? It looks like it reflected over the X. Now I'm going to show you what I can do to kind of help myself out here. So C went to C. B is there and there. D is there and there. And purple is there and there. Now, the reason I do that is because you can see that the colors are upside down. All right. And it's really easy to notice right there that the colors are upside down. So there was 100% of reflection. And I can kind of look here. One, two, one, two. The A is okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The Bs are okay. And if I counted all of them, it would end up being all right. It's definitely a reflection. Definitely the x-axis. Be careful because it's not, it might be a line sometimes that you have to draw in the middle. All right, so we got to look out for that kind of stuff. Then it goes from the red one to the blue one. I think this is obviously a translation. All right, so I, I feel like it's obviously a translation. How did it get there? Well, it went one, two, three to the left, and then it went down two. All right, so translation three to the left and down two. Would it be a rigid motion? All right, so this is a very, very common question when you have these types of situations here. All right, so it's very simple. Did it change size or shape? All right, it didn't. So yes, it is a rigid motion because the size and shape did not change. Okay, and again, what do we look at? There's a dilation. It's probably not a rigid motion. It's not foolproof but it's probably not a rigid motion if you see a dilation.